before this match starts. Maybe some good sportsmanship. Or maybe that's asking oh, maybe that too much. Oh. That's how you escalate the disrespect. Well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this match is now officially underway. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. Oh. He gets out of the way. Placed in the corner. Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out! Exploder into the... He goes for the quick pin. He kicks out before the count hits two. He is too fresh to have been kept down there. And this match will head back to the ring. Big boot! And he denies cross. Oh, it's through Moonsome, my God. And don't just look at that as... Sh oh, he got him! Is he going to lock this in? A, a single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Big four. Four smash! Belly to belly! Vicious. And Lee had no reflexes to answer for that. A fearsome attack from the ever-intimidating... From the top! kick out of that. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The foot DDT! Utilizing a little Penchak Salat. Turn out the lights. And now blood is flowing from the sinister face of Cross. And that is not supposed to look that easy, ladies and gentlemen. And Cross can't find an answer for these attacks. Cross seems like he's one step behind his opponent. He's unable to adapt to the offense being thrown at. Cross out of harm's way. The referee County urging them to get in the ring. Setting it up. He's heading back to the ring. Beat the count back in. This one will continue. There he goes, right into the corner. Game and Gary! Wow! Wesley is just begging for a fight. Carrying Cross looking to deliver. With the final prayer! Cross just finished this. There's two! It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Karrion Cross. And even if they still don't have their opponent's respect after this, at least they have something to celebrate. And you know what? You have to respect this win. They don't have to do anything, Saxton. Yes, but if their point was that they couldn't even lace their boots, I think we just saw how wrong that is tonight. Oh, uh, looking to maybe shake hands to start this match. Good sportsmanship here.
Yeah, I like to see this. Or, or, oh, no. I don't like oh, seeing that. That's sportsmanship. This is what I like to see. Let him fight. Well, that's going to fire him up for sure. Well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. Yeah, it's clear there's a total lack of respect between these two. Well, this match is underway, but as we just saw, there's clearly a lack of respect between these superstars. Respect isn't a prerequisite, Cole. It's not something you have to have for your peers, and it's definitely not something to give out freely. If you want respect in WWE, you have to take it. Never forget that. Snap suplex so quick. And Nathan got bottled up there. Sleeper hold cinched him and breaks out of the sleeper. Able to get the advantage here. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, and a stomp. He's absorbed some damage already. Frazier looking real motivated in that exchange. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Yeah, it's the red, white, and blue. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. He's able to kick out before two. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Score point, pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. What power. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Taking this to the floor. He's returning fire. Lariat. And it looked like his opponent found an answer for Frazier's offense. And there was that aggressive offensive style of Dragunov on full display. Dragunov has said to himself, and I quote, I am violence, and he considers himself to be invincible. How do you account for a man like that? Well, if anything, he's too intense. Dragunov puts too much emotion out there, and sometimes that rage gets the better of him. When he goes fully off the handle, that's your opening to exploit his mistakes. But it's going to hurt to get to that point, so be ready. Frazier not backing down one bit. Just a blitz of offense on Frazier here. Nathan's got to slow down this assault. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. Springboard corkscrew. Crook. This could do it. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Drop it right to the spine. Stomping away and repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Oh, kick, man. Nathan now has a leg up in this match. Dragunov let his rage get the better of him, and we're seeing his opponent exploit that. Swing blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Dragunov fires back. At last, Dragunov keeps that string of offense in check. Ilya could be turning his fortunes around. Uh-oh. And he goes for the pin! Also, the lever, shoulders down. Almost two and a half. Wow. From behind. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic! 
Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Can't quite get him there. Good golly! Caught by surprise with that clothesline. The springboard attack fails to land. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Hooked and driven down hard with a Uranagi. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, not looking good at all. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. And here we go now. Drops the elbow. Just breaking down the opponent. Slip. Yeah, Ross Power there. Fine Buster. Nathan is undergoing a thrashing. Everything's in Dragonov's favor now. And continuing to punish their opponent with a Razor getting set up. Driving down a forearm into their jaw. That could be Frazier's demise. Sweat put into this match, well worth it. Here is your winner, Ilya Not the way you want to see things end after the earlier blatant show of disrespect. They've got to be feeling like they just proved a point here with their actions, though. I know they made a point earlier on to show that they had no respect for their opponent, but come on, after a match like that, how could they not? need to get in there and get some control. We know there's a lot of disdain between these two men. And we're seeing it right before our very eyes, before this match even starts. Now we're official. Tried to catch the superstar off guard, but they were prepared. Yeah, these two did not want to wait for the bell, but the referee finally able to get things under control. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up. He might have been putting the cart before the horse with that pin, but it was worth a try. And Ivar with a wherewithal to counter. Vicious right forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Nobody likes it. Spike down. You're so weak. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Good golly, Miss Molly! All the way out. Suplex! Big splash! The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. Corey, how do you deal with a razor-sharp technician like Ludwig Kaiser? 
You need to find ways to force Kaiser off balance. Kaiser wants to be in control of every facet of this match, so be unpredictable. Keep him guessing. If you do that, he'll become frustrated and lose some of his quickly to cut. And he powers out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Whoa, not quite yet. Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. Springboard clothesline! Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Real European uppercut. Look out! A slingshot cross body! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Ludwig's starting to get the crowd involved. Take a good look at a real-life Titan, folks. Oh, strong impact! Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. He's got the answer for that one. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Whip down the barricade! Holds right through it. Thrown back in under the ropes. He is just reeling from that offense. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Stomping down! Ludwig stepping up to the top. From the top rope. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Nice suplex. And he's out of there in a nick of time. That'll ring your bell. And he goes for the pin. Kick out close to three. Just barely, but it counts. The counter. Oh, what a knee. And I'm armed with a wherewithal to counter. Hooking it up here. What's next? A panel suplex. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Blast off. in total disbelief right now. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. Single leg drop kick caught him. Right to the knee. Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh stop, stop, stop! Oh, by a forearm smash. And Ibar looks clueless as to where he is right now. Oh, check this out. Kaiser with the STO. 
Reverse dial DDT. Two count. What a kick out at two. Unreal. Unreal to kick out there. Not only unlikely, downright extraordinary. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. And that definitely made solid impact. Everything working against Ivar now. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor from the top. lost this match was barely fair if at all they more or less stole this victory at the end of the day the how and the why doesn't matter saxton all that matters now is they got the win Mello is money. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds. Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes is a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher. is ready for action to begin. The LWO is in the house. It's cool until you say it. And his opponent Representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is such a dangerous competitor. He came up in Mexico City's lucha scene. Escobar has always been a standout talent, from fighting in the underground to the highest heights in NXT. A background in lucha tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. Facing a man in Carmelo Hayes who gets under his opponent's skin before the match even starts. The question is, can this guy focus and put Melo away?
We'll start with Santos Escobar, the self-styled emperor of Lucha Libre. What does that even mean, Corey? Santos sees himself as tradition and modernity all in one. He honors the past with old-school lucha moves, but pushes into the future with modern presentation and technique. He understands the best way to keep tradition alive is to allow it to grow and change. And if I may add, he's completely ruthless to boot. And up against him is the supremely talented, supremely confident Carmelo Hayes. The only thing more dangerous than a confident man is a man who could back it up. Hayes is damn good and he knows it. We could be in for a show tonight, fellas. He must have had that scouted. And it's so tough to pin down Carmelo Hayes as a performer. But if you have... He could pin his opponent right here. Carmelo turns out away. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, my God. He turns it around. Quick exchange of counters there. Oh, God. Man, uncorked a big punch. Oh, say hello. Escobar making a statement. Santos might be taking his next step up the mountain. You can see Carmelo's eyes tracking the enemy now. Carmelo Hayes gonna turn it so much. Oh my goodness, what a cutter. Hayes landed that perfectly. Two, and they're still in this. It was almost all over, almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. A new strategy is needed right about now if that couldn't end things. This is making me nervous. You gotta win at any cost. Target in the arm now. He's looking a little weary now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Delivers the knee. Santos falling victim to an onrush now. Hayes showing he can do everything. Keeping his opponent guessing. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. So much damage inflicted. Just disrespectful. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. The 5-2 player with a potential home run swing. Melo's not missing at all. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Springboard! What a raucous crowd here tonight. Able to evade. Uh, Santos counters. Escobar finally creates some more offense for himself. Yeah, but Escobar needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Oh! And Hayes is having his way right now. Yeah, Santos has run into a roadblock. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Off the top. No, 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 no! Move that away! Looking for a high-risk move. Escapes it from the top rope. Look out below! Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Good buster! Soon, he returns to the ring. The Emperor of Lucha Libre playing to his subjects. Finally ends it, and all the bloodshed, perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. Falling victim to the ref's count, this one is over.
Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. Sami Zayn! Corey, listen to this reaction for Sami Zayn. I still don't understand why the WWE Universe insists on singing Sami Zayn's entrance fee. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 100. And 93 pounds, Drew Gulak! This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. We'll have to pull out all the stops against Sammy because he will definitely do the same. Drew Gulak seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak, along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And standing across the ring from him is an incredible competitor in Sami Zayn. When that bell rings and Sami goes in, he leads it all in the ring. Sammy lives that DIY ethos. Sami Zayn takes pomp and circumstance and kicks it out the window. Sammy's here to put in the work and take care of business. We all know that Sammy has the ability to take flight in the ring and land some explosive aerial attacks. How do you counter that? You've got to ground Sammy. Keep him off the top rope. Bring him into the middle of the ring and take him down to the mat or target his legs and nullify his ability to climb the ropes. Whichever strategy you choose, the bottom line is you cannot let Sammy get airborne. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Back suplex. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. Zayn capitalized on that opening when it appeared. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Go for the arm bar and a... Oh, 
Damage to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. Gotta find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. Sami Zayn retaliates. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Ooh, tough. His shoulders are down. Strong kick out there. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Just one step ahead. Oh, man. Oh, weakening the leg here. Oh, not to the belly. Answering back. Oh, what for? He skirts around it. Extend your elbow. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila. Oh, that was a great counter. Here comes Sammy. Firing up now and making a comeback. Momentum time. Whoa. And Sammy is countered. Ouch. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Oh, ouch. Oh, Zane anticipated that. Uh-oh. Oh, he knew what was coming. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Solely focused on punishing the leg. We know that taking out the legs is one of the most effective strategies in any match. Into a neck breaker. A high impact attack from Gulak. I expect nothing less from a tenacious fighter. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, here we go. Brain Buster. The close of this match is just ahead. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Maybe all that studying Drew Gulak does needs to come to the surface somehow. Double axe handle. And in the late goings, Gulak is still able to distribute an attack. Gulak has been such a hostile force during the course of this match. And he slides him back to the mat. Turning the tables. I'll get back here. Leg Larry. Knee strike. Zane absolutely not backing down. And that negates Zane's offense. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. Blue Thunder Bomb. Zane finding that. And there's the cover. And Sami Zayn takes it. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn! And tonight, Sami Zayn scored the win. I know Gulak has to be livid right now. This is not how he planned things going down.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. And a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sikoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. If you looked up tag team wrestling in the dictionary, these two would be the definition. Absolute masters at the tag team craft. The valedictorian of the Alpha Academy, the big man. And their opponents, first, representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. The big man, Otis, 330 pounds of good times and big wins. Otis lives on a steady diet of delivering beatdowns. And Otis is going to feed on even more tonight. We are finally seeing Otis competing at the highest level, and the WWE Universe loves him for it. And he always seems to have a beautiful blonde chasing him around for reasons I can't fathom. Here comes Master Gable. Oh. Representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Oh. Weighing in at 202 pounds, oh. Chad Gable. Chad Gable is a gold medalist who went to the next level as a member of the Alpha Academy. Not someone you want to take lightly, despite his catchphrases. Now, we've seen this guy deadlift men more than double his size on multiple occasions. Gable's more than proven he's a legitimate threat in that ring. The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. And it's less about ability and more about attitude, Corey. I just have a hard time taking them seriously, and so do their opponents. And it sounds to me, guys, like this El Paso crowd is doing everything in their power to blow the roof off this place. Strong right forearm. What a spine buster. Oh, Sakoa holding him at bay. Tossed into the corner. Knife edge chop going through the arena. And perhaps a reevaluation of the lesson plan is in order for the Alpha Academy after that. Yeah, Asakoa put that ferocious nature of his on full display. With the Lariat. Oh my gosh, with one hand. And by the looks of that maneuver, the so-called size advantage might have just disappeared. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. One. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, 
Tag is made. Parker going up top. Uh oh. Uso splash. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Headbutt. See if this is the start of a rally. Getting him into the corner. Okay. This team working like a well-oiled machine. Oh my goodness, double gut buster. That might have broken some ribs. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Shot. He turns it around. Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on wounded leg alone. But did you guys just see the distance traveled on that toss? Fisherman's Buster. They've got their opponent's arm. And a carefully measured knee drop. Into the corner. This can't be good. Uso splash! That was that chemistry you cannot teach. And up the turnbuckles we go. And his eyes are piercing through the opposition now. From the top, black handle. He can end it here. No, kicks out. He really thought that was it. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. This match is brutality starting to show on him. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Countered it just in time. He is looking to do some serious harm. Got him set up in the club thing in store for Solo. The lights are out for Sokoa. Kick it out before the count. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match? Otis was just a step slow. Oh, stomping away. Tag is made, and here we go. Foot to the gut. This <laughs> one, oh, headbutt. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Strength, and this has got to be it. He's able to beat a two count. Wow, I thought this was over. Now that was athletic. Just pinning the arm down and that vicious knee drop. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Paul? Oh, looking to triple the leg. Left by the turnbuckles. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Alley Close it out. 
Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Hooked up. Boom. Matt turns it around for Solo. Here's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. And he gets set back into the ring. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Jimmy Uso tags in. What a headbutt. Vicious. He's been placed in the corner now. Ooh! And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Now look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. And Otis was ready there. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when their backs are against the wall. His man in the corner, and now setting him up. I do believe we're going to see it. The electrifying caterpillar from the big man, Otis, for the win. One, two, he kicks out at two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. So, my God, enough! He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. No, two count. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Oh, look at this raining right hands. Not stop blows. Just ruthless. Oh, God. And listen to this place. It's deafening in here, Michael. This could be it. Cover for the win. And a strong kick out in one. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Still no. in. Ah, takedown, and now punches right. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Kick to the gut. Oh, wait, right. Oh, wicked kick. 
kick to the lower back. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He's on his heels a bit now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Hoisting their opponent up for a fisherman buster. Does he get him here? No, stops the count at two. How have we not claimed a winner yet? You got to believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. And set right into the corner. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. He's trying again. Big slam. Chad with the exclamation mark. Cover! Fights out at two. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Stops the kick. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. This has been an epic encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level off the scale. Big boot to the gut. The clubbing forearm. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. He's going for it all. Top rope. Jimmy Uso splash. Oh, this is in a terrible predicament. This one's all but over. Wait a minute. Pin. And got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here are your winners. Chad Gable and Otis. The Alpha Academy. And it looks like another win with honors for the Alpha Academy. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. Here comes the double champion. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. You gotta be aware of Rollins' main streak. It's ruthless and long. Rollins will do whatever it takes to win, and this superstar has got to have the same mindset. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. 
Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. There's no love lost between Rollins and Rhodes. From Rollins' shield days to now, he's always seeming... Take down. Looking for the cross face. Gets cinched in. We're going to free the arm and does just that. And he denies Cody. Able to elude it. What a counter by Rollins. Hits him with the counter. Uh, off the rope. Ducks under. Let's go behind. Instead, what a German suplex. Saw that one coming, took advantage. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. And the counter from Rollins. Fires back with a crucial elbow. Oh, uncorked a big punch. He had it scouted. Ah, jumping knee strike. Lights out. And what should Cody Rhodes' plan be for this matchup tonight? Fight, fight, fight. The heart of Cody Rhodes is absolutely legendary at this point, and he should lean on that, especially if he finds himself in a tight spot. As the old saying goes, the will is greater than the skill. Ah, uh, stop right to the gut. Cody possibly realizing his opponent might be just as dangerous as he is. How's that for a counter? He got whipped into that corner. Ooh, had it scouted and met with a back elbow. Using the ropes. He thinks he has it. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. Staying in this one. Oh! Cody Rhodes lining it up. Just a step too slow. Versatility from Rollins. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. Shifts 
drops it back onto him. Legs caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. Oh, hyper extends your leg. Uncorks a thunderous chop. Oh, and a reverse. Oh, oh, right right so down. It's cinched in. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Using the ropes. Rollins struggling. Rollins in deep, deep trouble. Cody looking for the win. Crossroads. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Two. A lot of shoulder up before three. Don't ever doubt the tenacity of Seth Rollins. Now this. Oh, and Rollins. Here comes Seth. Slip lane. Rollins in. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Seth Rollins gets a huge win tonight. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins. Seth Freakin' Rollins standing tall. Cody Rhodes' worst nightmare has come true. It was a match that could have gone either way, but Rollins came out on top in this one. And he... The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Trick Willie. Trick Williams, absolutely not the type to stand for any disrespect. Has a swagger that tends to rub some the wrong way, but he doesn't care in the slightest. Williams is ready to prove that he's the greatest. He has put up or shut up time. Here he is, a champion twice over. Wow. When you're a champion, you have challengers and threats coming at you from all angles. When you're a double champion, well, I'd consider sleeping with one eye open, just in case. I'm sure he's already doing that, Corey, keeping his head on a swivel.
This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. Introducing the challenger from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams! And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 the WWE United States Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Logan Paul. One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking the United States Championship The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Well, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Ouch. What an elbow drop. Counters that. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Reversal on top of reversal. He went right into that turnbuckle. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Logan Paul, I can't believe he's going to attempt this. There's one. Paul spins the hips. Paying homage, of course, to Eddie Guerrero. Delivers a second. And now Logan Paul looking for... Line. Corey, Logan Paul is taken to this business like a fish to water. How do you get the better of a naturally gifted competitor like him? Well, you're right. Paul has taken to the ring intrinsically, and he has a lot of natural instinct that serves him well. But his beginner's luck has to run out somewhere. So be patient and smart with your attacks. Make Paul look like the beginner he is. Look at this. Propelled oh. himself to the outside with a clothesline. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Oh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? The challenger eating up some damage. Quick and effective delivery there by Logan. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Oh, God. Now, oh, Paul creates an opportunity. Get back in the ring. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Jeez. Ooh, Quick thinking pays off. Big impact. Setting them up. Arm is trapped. Determined to keep this matchup going. Oh my god! Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, 
taken down with a body slam. Looking wobbly in the corner. Everything working against Logan Paul now. For all his instinct, Paul looking very much like a beginner right about now. Trying to deal with this smart offense. What do they have planned here? From delivering a Uranagi. Cover! Two count. Oh, the champ narrowly kicks out. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Tossed into the ring. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oh, man. And Williams is keeping the match at his pace. Yeah, Trick is really grinding the opposition down. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And Logan is looking to the crowd for some support. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Oh, well scouted by Paul. So intimidation tactics from Logan Paul. Trick off the ropes. Throws it down with a slam dunk. Gonna see a new champ. Two. What in the world? That was a matter of a fraction of a second. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. to the stomach. Oh, put down face first. Cover! Two! And a kick out at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? And Paul caught by surprise. Had that one scouted. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Money in the Bank contract championship. One of the most dangerous competitors the women's division has ever seen, EO Sky.
Whether it was Japan, Mexico, or WWE, Io's dominated wherever she's competed. Io Sky's become more powerful as a member of Damage Control and became an eliminator for the group. And they, in turn, have raised her to the level of Miss Money in the Bank and the WWE Women's Championship. A woman who can take out all competitors from the air, but is more than happy to break the rules as a backup plan. And utilizing both strategies has quickly made her one of the top competitors in the women's division. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. You know, Zoe Stark just oozes with confidence. She knows exactly how good she is. And that's because Zoe refuses to conform to anybody else's ideas of what she is supposed to be. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. Tonight is about earning the privilege to hold this title, the WWE Women's Championship. You can see a burning desire in the eyes of each athlete, knowing that the top of the mountain is on the winning side of this match. Every woman wants it, few get the distinct. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? She steers clear of that one. Up on their shoulders, electric chair. Trying their opponent's arm out. Man. There's a double stop right down the arm. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Working on the leg. The counter from Stark. Scouted. Ah, oh, she's trying, trying to create space. Cross body. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. It seems obvious, but here's the off into the pin. And a champion avoids the two count. Not even a near fall there. Delivers the cross body. Pow, what a shot. Take it to the floor. What's she going to do? Wind him up. Oh, and a forearm. And Io had no answer there for her opponent. A running high car run. Beautiful. That kind of agility is something that just might get the champ shook. When the challenger can come at you from all angles, that makes for a very dangerous situation. Enough already. No doubt Io is having trouble here. I love what. What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold yes. on. Yes. Yes. Not now. Are you kidding me? Miss Money in the back. No, no, there's no way she's cashing in now. Well, it looks like she is. Indeed, she is. It's a triple threat match. Oh, my gosh. For the championship. 
This is incredible! Perfect moment. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Springboard misses the target. Stomping. Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. The Florida Keys. Go behind. German. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Into the ankle breaker. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. And Eo's exposed here. Dragon suplex. Maybe not. That could have been it right there. And that failed to hit the mark. The O Sky double underhook. And driven down with a face buster. Go behind. German nine. Here's a pin for the title. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. This is going to get ugly. Airway crash neck breaker. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Counters with an attack on Zelina. She is just <laughs> desperately trying to fight out of it. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. No, trapping the arm. A vicious stomp to the hand. With the title on the line, the champ isn't holding anything back. Delivering nasty stomps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Oh, my goodness. She manages to get control. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight. Zoe stuck. Uh oh. Eo. Eo Sky. Floating over. And she breaks the hold. Wants her set up in the corner. Oh, what a kick. Vicious. Followed by an overhead kick. See a kick out there. Sent into the corner. Oh man, the challenger's hopes are slipping away. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Think about all the pain she's in right. Oh, what a reversal. Great moves. She needs to get out of here in a hurry. Able to parry that one. Hooked up. DDT. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. We can have a new champion. Ah, stops the legs. It's unbelievable that these athletes are in. The champ shoulders are down. Kick out. What does she have to do to put her away? 
I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Missed timing with that springboard. Places her right in the corner, and she gets herself out of a precarious position. Haymaker after Haymaker trading back and forth blows now. Roundhouse kick on the mark. Fought off with an elbow. Here looking for a submission face first. Can she finish it? Here it is. Koji clutch. Oh my. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, and an elbow does the job. Dark trying to put her opponent off balance. Uh-oh. This is not going to be pretty. Leg breaker that had to hurt. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. There's not a single person sitting in this arena. It's pandemonium, Cole. the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh, God. That looked devastating. Hold on. She could be looking for a submission move here. Sky able to steer clear. And Sky floating over, breaking it up at the last second. <laughs> Denied with an elbow. Champ looking to end this. Running interference. Oh, goodness, what a moonsault. An agile escape. Dragon suplex. Looking for the victory. Two count. Yes, got it. New champion. Here is your winner. And miss money. the title what's there to say but congrats to her this is exactly what she wanted